Ear pain or blocked ears are common reasons why people may present to their doctor. Here are some facts you may find interesting. Earwax is one of those things that most of us don't really think about until you experience a sore ear or a blocked ear, or maybe a change in your hearing. Earwax is not actually wax, but it can have a waxy, sticky texture. The medical name for earwax is cerumen. It contains sebum, which is a body secretion made up mostly of fat. It also contains skin cells, sweat and dirt. Earwax is completely normal. It's a substance secreted by glands in the skin that line the outer half of your ear canals to help clean and protect the ear. Earwax cleans, lubricates and protects your ear canal by trapping dirt and slowing the growth of bacteria. Earwax, together with the tiny hairs in your ear passages, trap dust and other foreign particles that could damage deeper structures in the ear, such as your eardrum. So, are there different types of earwax? Earwax can come in a variety of different colours, ranging from off-white to a light yellow, orangey-brown or black colour. Earwax can vary depending on your environment and diet. You may have darker wax if you work in a dirty environment and earwax that has been in your ear for longer will generally be darker because it has trapped more dirt. There are two main kinds of earwax, wet and dry. Wet earwax is more common in Caucasians and African people and is typically dark yellow and sticky, whereas people of East Asian or Native American descent produce earwax that is typically light in color dry and flaky. So how do I know if I have wax buildup in my ears? There is no way to know if you have wax buildup in your ears without having someone like a doctor look inside your ears. Symptoms that might suggest that you have wax buildup though include an earache, pressure or a feeling of fullness in the affected ear, reduced hearing in the affected ear, a ringing, buzzing or humming noise in your ear, a headache, or dizziness. Mm. Most people will not need to clean their ears as the body has its own mechanism of getting rid of earwax. Thanks to the motion of talking and chewing as well as the shape of the ear itself, a small amount of earwax naturally makes its way from the deeper part of the ear canal to the outer area of the ear canal. As new wax is secreted, it replaces the old earwax that eventually moves out of the ear canal and falls out naturally, taking any debris and dead skin cells along with it. So why does wax build up happen? If you secrete an excessive amount of wax or if earwax isn't cleared effectively, maybe because you have a narrow ear canal for instance, earwax can build up and block your ear canal. When earwax accumulates in your ear or becomes too hard to wash away naturally, you may then experience symptoms of wax buildup. Earwax buildup commonly occurs if you try to clean your ears on your own by placing cotton buds or Q-tips or other items in your ears. This often just pushes the wax deeper into the ear and makes it even harder to come out. I know it's tempting, but by putting things in your ears, you can also risk causing an external ear infection, which can lead to pain, swelling, and a yellow discharge from the ear. Using cotton buds also risks the cotton tip actually coming off and getting stuck in the ear. Your ear canal and eardrum are delicate and can be easily damaged. Do not try to remove earwax yourself with any device placed into your ear canal. If you think you may have wax buildup, make sure you see your doctor who may syringe your ears or use microsuction. If you have discharge coming out of the ear that is runny, green, bloody or foul smelling, you may actually have an infection of the ear canal. You may also be experiencing pain in that ear. This is called otitis externa or swimmer's ear. Otitis externa or swimmer's ear is an infection of the ear canal skin. Causes of otitis externa include swimming, which makes the ear canal wet for a prolonged period of time, causing the skin of the canal to become soft and soggy. This then makes an ideal environment for bacteria or fungi, which are normally present on the skin, to grow and cause an infection. And trauma or abrasions to the lining of the ear canal from scratching it or from using devices to clean the ear canal. Otitis externa is not the same as a middle ear infection and it cannot be spread from one person to another. So what are the symptoms and signs of otitis externa? 
Some of the symptoms and signs that might suggest that you have an outer ear infection or otitis externa include pain when you tug at the earlobe, pain when you apply pressure to the prominence just outside the ear canal, which is called the tragus, itchiness inside the ear, or runny, yellow, foul-smelling green discharge. To prevent an infection of the ear canal, keep your ears as dry as possible. Use a bathing cap, earplugs, or custom-fitted swim molds when swimming. Dry your ears thoroughly using a towel after showering and after swimming. And avoid inserting anything into the ear canal to remove earwax. Remember, earwax helps protect the ear canal from infection. So how do you treat otitis externa? If you have ear pain or an unusual discharge from the ear, you should see your doctor who will perform an ear examination. Otitis externa can be treated with antibiotic drops, using tissue spears to collect discharge from the ear canal, and keeping the ear clean and dry. If you have any further questions or if you have any symptoms of wax buildup or symptoms of otitis externa, see your doctor for further advice. We hope you enjoyed this video and learnt something new. If you liked our video, click like and subscribe and turn on your notification bell to stay up to date with our uploads. We also have a podcast, the Medical and Dental Podcast, which we'll link down below. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. You're my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekend.